You might think you know about the Tyrannosaurus Rex, but a brand new exhibit at the American Museum of Natural History might blow your mind. This is supposed to have the most accurate depiction of the Tyrannosaurus Rex ever. The exhibit is called T-Rex, the ultimate predator. When you enter, you get to see the T-Rex in a new way. This is a life-sized model of a one-year-old Tyrannosaurus Rex. It's covered in feathers and fuzz. You can see the short arms and long legs. At this age, the arms don't look as useless when compared to an adult. This exhibit used the latest information about the T-Rex to show how it matured into a giant beast. This hatchling would gain up to 140 pounds or 65 kilograms per month. In the background, there's an animation of a full-grown T-Rex to give you a sense of scale. This little guy will become huge. Then you can check out a four-year-old T-Rex, which is also a life-sized model. The arms are looking a bit shorter in comparison to the body. The feathers are no longer all over the body of the animal. Paleobiologist Gregory Erickson told us that these feathers were probably initially used for insulation and camouflage. As the T-Rex would get larger, it would need to dissipate heat more than it would need insulation. So there would be fewer feathers on the T-Rex as it aged. Then it's time to see the full-on adult T-Rex. At this point, the feathers are relegated to patches. These feathers probably served a function in mating. There is a ton of detail placed into these models. This T-Rex has a leaner build, larger hind legs, and smaller arms than previous ones. It's unknown what color a T-Rex could have been, so some educated guesses were made. The artists even decided to include T-Rex saliva. Brain casts and CT scans of the T-Rex suggest that it had excellent vision. So sorry about that Jurassic Park. Additionally, research shows that Tyrannosaurus Rex had a very good sense of smell and hearing. Our view on dinosaurs and their lives change as more and more data is collected. There are around 40 skeleton samples of the T-Rex available today. 10 years ago, that number was closer to seven or eight. In this interactive display, you can see how a one-year-old T-Rex ran compared to an adult. The one-year-old appears to almost hop. The adult seems much more systematic in its movement. The exhibit is more than just T-Rexes. The Rex is just one of the Tyrannosaurs. There is a display showing the family that are much smaller than the famous Rex. Here is an adult relative called the Shiyangwanlong Baymoensis. The arms on this appear to be much more useful. There's also a virtual reality component designed by HTC that uses its Vive headset. Visitors get to build a T-Rex skeleton together. The experience is called T-Rex Skeleton Crew, and there will be a home version available on the Vive in the summer of this year. Before you leave the exhibit, there's a massive 32-foot projection of a nature scene with a T-Rex and its hatchlings. The animals can track the visitors as they move around. I hope you found this exhibit as fascinating as I did. I'm gonna say bye to my fine feathered friend, but this exhibit will be here until August 2020, so you got plenty of time to check it out.